Alright. Episode two, yard rebuild. <laughs> pretty close I just got to measure the gaps so I'll run a tape I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out the landings get those ready and then I'll set them to where I think these jumps should be and then we'll adjust like I was saying in the previous one this is the new learner slash small line we got a table and then a gap jump the same size as the table and so on and so on all right measure that was quick up. That was quick. It's nice when you have a machine and you don't have to use a shovel, huh? Let me measure these two, and then I'll test these, and then we're sitting at nine feet. I guess there's no rule of thumb on what a line should be. Just whatever. whatever you think, you're the professional. Well, the other tabletops are way too small. I'm trying to see progression of everyone. Where is that? Is that right at the knuckle right where you should land? Yeah. Okay, so that's eight feet. This is the good thing about having wooden ramps. Let's get out here a minute. Okay, ten foot is right on the top. That way it goes eight, nine, ten. And I'll probably keep the last one at ten as well. Look at me. We have a new roll in. Oh as you can see. my gosh. What do you think? Ooh, yeah! I'm gonna go ahead and note it right now, people. This first jump is gonna be the first jump that Willow catches air on. What do you think, Mom? She agrees. Yay, do you agree? Um. All right. Oh. Oh, big air. <gasps> What's he doing? What? Still a little soft. But can we backflip him? Yes. Oh, I got a racer. Hey. Go for tomorrow. Is... <laughs> you are just messing me up. Go for tomorrow. Get the medium line going, at least. Ow. Yeah, we can get it going. That's a wrap. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, Willow. Bye, wave. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Wow! Literally exactly where I did not want it to fall. That jump's pretty sturdy though. I saw it right when it hit it, and all I did was shake. That ramp? Yeah, it's sitting on the small side ramp. It's literally exactly on top where I, the one jump I didn't want it to hit, it fell exactly there. <laughs> We're cut. Well, figured it's a good time to test it. Kelsey and the baby are having a nap, so we're self-filming. What do you guys think about the new helmet? This is the Fly Race. Nice, huh? This is gonna be my new dirt jump helmet. Same shell as the works, but see, it just has way more vents. Lightweight, breathable. Anyways. I don't know what to think about that first cannon. It's almost just too basic for a first gun. Throw some more shovels before it gets too dark. All right, next day, we tested the first, tested the second, they actually ride really good. As you can see, we obviously need to bring that up about a foot and out there for probably two foot. So really widen this out, pack it in nice, and then we can really get a good speed judgment on how we want to stack that, so. Back to the time lapse. All right, that's stacked. Stacked good enough. We're definitely wider. I'll come back. If you could tell in the time lapse, I'll throw dirt and then water, throw dirt because it's pretty dry out here right now. If your dirt's moist, it'll obviously stick. And for the real learners, you gotta have the dirt sticky to build these big straight sides. So I don't wanna fully wall it up yet because if you get it too steep with this clay and when, I, when it gets too wet, it doesn't have a good bite. It'll real easily like collapse and fall down. Seeing how the goal is just getting everything rideable, that's all we're doing. I'm gonna get it decently shaped. Worst case, we have to ride, say tomorrow, it's good to go. I can always come back and clean things up. And what I like to do too, when it's a slope like this, I like to go and shave off the slope. That way everything here is packed nice. And then everything you scrape down is that real fine dirt and you can throw that back to the top and square that off. But that'll be later on. Like I said, we're just trying to get this stuff rideable and this jump's looking pretty good. Now the goal is jump number three. It's the about 12 foot tall cannon log. I have no idea how I'm gonna stack it up yet, so. I don't know how big it should look. I don't know how much of a step down there should be. I'm thinking a little steeper and maybe a little short. That cap looks kind of big. It actually doesn't look big, it looks good, but for the speed we're having, I want this to be a little shorter. Sitting at about 12 foot high. I'm gonna notch out the logs, get those up there, and then maybe we can pivot from there. We're up. It might get a little tricky right now. That line is the middle of the hip behind me where I jumped the hip a couple times and this is the area that it put me. So I want this line in the middle of the cannon. So we're gonna scoot that over and push it back with the skid steer. Hopefully I don't knock it over. I'm kind of torn. All I can think is Brace it up, send it, try to test it out. Here we go. Oh. Mm. Oh, I did two pedals. I don't want to do two pedals. I want to do one pedal. At least you know it works. Oh, oh, okay. A little shorter and a little steeper. Now, how do we do that? We worked all week. We got the place running. 
Unfortunately, by the time Halloween came, the rain came the day before. It was wet, too wet to ride, cloudy. So, all the hard work didn't work out for the Halloween Jam, unfortunately, so we're gonna postpone that. But to wrap up episode two of this rebuild, we're gonna take some laps, because I got it dried out. It's a little soft, but everything's running good. So we'll take some laps, show you what everything's looking like, how it all turned out, and then what we're gonna change, and then I'll tell you what to expect for episode three. Let's go. Everything's running good. Now that everything's hardening up, I think I'm gonna stack the second hip landing a little higher, leave the cannon, but we have two cannons in the same run. I thought it'd be fun, but I don't like it. So I built a four foot transition lip to go back at the first jump, which is a foot taller than what it was before. We're getting there. I'm actually, after today's ride, I'm actually very excited about where everything's going and it motivates me for more. Good to see you riding today. It felt good to ride. How does Actually, it feel I've been on out this here. Bike? I love this bike. And we're doing it on the Haro Thread Slope, which is by far my favorite bike in the shop. So I'm planning to put a lot more time in on this bike. But anyways, subscribe if you're not, because Rebuild Part Three is just around the corner. So thanks for tuning in. Peace. It's very steep. How's it feel? I'm scared. Aw, blow kisses. Bye. Wave. Bye, say Bye. subscribe to my daddy. Subscribe to daddy. <laughs> hey.